All right, so look, man, quick video here, but I had to make a video about it because this happens to be one of my favorite rappers of all time. Lupe Fiasco, right? In my opinion, his albums, Food and Liquor and The Cool, two of the best 10 rap albums in the last 20 years. That's how good I think Lupe uh, Fiasco is. His first album and his second album, they are both in the top 10 for best rap albums of the last two decades. The guy is so skilled, it's ridiculous. And we never ever really seen anyone else like him. You know, that raps that well, and also can cross over in two different markets. You know, uh, if you are what you say you are, a superstar. What's his other song? The song he got with Jill Scott, it's called Daydreamer. This dude won a Grammy for that song. People don't realize how big Lupe Fiasco was because he was kind of ahead of his time. Ironically enough, as you can see from the title, this is about Lupe Fiasco and Kendrick Lamar, but Lupe Fiasco was Kendrick Lamar before Kendrick Lamar. Even the way people misconstrue Kendrick Lamar would be in this, ooh, let's save the world. Let's come together as one. They don't realize Kendrick Lamar's background. He's not like J. Cole. Kendrick grew up with bloods and everything. Kendrick Lamar out here, basically. But because the way he raps and the way he carries himself, people just assume he ain't about their life. Same with Lupe Fiasco. Man, that dude tied in heavy in the Chicago street. Just because them dudes can rap really well, watch anime and all of this stuff, doesn't mean they ain't about their life, man. They are a part of the gang gang and evil twin people. Don't get it misconstrued. But uh, yeah, so it's just a lot of similarities between the two. And that's why when Lupe Fiasco made his statement about the uh, Kendrick and Drake beef, it really meant something. This is not coming from a guy that's hating, mad because Kendrick Lamar raps better than him. So Lupe Fiasco will wrap circles around Kendrick Lamar. Seriously. If your name isn't King Los, uh, Daylight, the battle rapper Daylight, maybe Black Thought, I'll even throw Andre 3000 in there, you're not even coming close to rapping better than uh, Lupe Fiasco when it comes to the technicality of the ski. I'll throw Ab Soul in there as well. Those people I just named don't even mention other rappers with them. That's a whole other league right there. And there's no disrespect to Kendrick Lamar because he's a great rapper. But those are the ones that everybody in hip hop pretty much knows. Hey, we might not like that lyrical spiritual stuff, but them dudes way better than us. But uh, what Lupe had to say about Drake and Kendrick kind of surprised me because he said that Drake was a better rapper than Kendrick Lamar. And again, this is coming from Lupe, so I'm gonna respect it. I know I always troll and say, boy, I can rap better than y'all, but it ain't no way possible I can rap better than this dude. I'm just being honest. So I started looking deeper into it, and Lupe kind of has a point. I think Drake might be a slightly better rapper than Kendrick Lamar, but Kendrick is a better lyricist. Let me break this down right quick. When it comes to Kendrick Lamar, I'm more blown away by his storytelling and his cadences and his flow, right? The way he inflicts his words, the different voices he be using. He understands the skill of rapping more than Drake, but Drake has the more clever bar. Long story short, but I don't think he could go wrong with either. But this was definitely an interesting take from uh, Lupe. Nonetheless, this is probably the best rap battle we have seen in the last decade. This is even bigger than the Drake and Meek Mill thing. You gotta go further back, maybe 50 and Ja Rule. When it comes to uh, the level of stardom, but y'all heard it, man. Lupe says uh, Drake is a better rapper than Kendrick Lamar. Now he didn't say Kendrick Lamar's trash and he didn't say Drake is way better or anything. He said it's a slight difference. He's slightly better than uh, Kendrick Lamar. And again, this is coming from Lupe Fiasco. You and my mean foes fold like clean clothes, several machine holes the size of shack rings in between your eyes like your nose. And he be letting y'all know he about that life. Ain't nothing sweet, it's Lupe. I am white people's Kool-Aid, it's me. The baller with the goggles like Kareem from Chicago with a Milo on the scene. Duck fellas, better get down like duck feathers. All right, let me start ranting about Lupe, but that dude's something else. Better get down like duck feathers. Like some of this stuff, I, I don't even be knowing what the dude be talking about. I gotta look it up. But that's what a uh, duck's feather is literally called, down. Break it in half like an intermission. You will see then what I mean then, what I meant there, that's an impair. Now you're learning it, keep rehearsing it till it's permanent, like pimp hair. 
Like, do y'all hear how this dude be talking? He know his bars be going over people's head. He rapping about telling us how to understand it better. Again, man, probably one of the top three greatest people ever at the skill of rapping. Not talking about album sales or anything. Nobody works with words better than this dude. Besides those other names I named at the beginning of this video, they're not even in the conversation. But anyway, man, how y'all feel about this? Let me know in the comment section, bro. Like, comment, subscribe. Hit that notification bell, man. Hey, man, follow me on Instagram. TZF, baby. 252. And from a throne of their bones, I brew. These fools are my fuel, so I make them cool. Baptize them in the water out of Scarface pool and feed them from the table that held the Coleon's food. If you die, tell them that you play my game. I hope your bullet holes become miles that say my name, cause I'm the... Y'all ain't messing with Lupe Fiasco, man. But I'm gone.